The other thing you mentioned with, um, you know, kind of thinking about how architecture or even, um, you know, urban design and, and building typologies participate or impact somehow our resiliency, right? Like how long we could live, how healthy we could be. And right. I mean, it's interesting to think about your grandmother being 93 years old, climbing up like, you know, three floors to get to her apartment. It's like, cra like right now that would sound crazy. Like, what would you want stairs when you're that old? But in the same <laughs> times, when you think about how we try to make everything easier for ourselves today, is it actually a disservice to, you know, our well-being and health in the long term right because we're less mobile we go less far in the cities and you know everything it's everything is so much closer that you actually don't even need to leave the room really <clears throat> yeah or cars or cars yeah it's a really good point and unfortunately our youth just continue year after year to get heavier and heavier uh in terms of the average of weight of, mm -hmm. of our younger population and um you know when when i was younger i was on a bike exploring looking mm -hmm. at looking at buildings and just moving around i was very mobile i i could travel with friends and packs of bikes and mm -hmm. we just had a tremendous amount of freedom that um a lot of suburban neighborhoods don't have anymore and in fact when 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 i got married and we decided to have kids it was important for us to live in the same type of neighborhood that i grew up in um, um we we bought in in the belmont shore area and our kids walk to school every day uh it, it was in walking distance there's a market that's buried within a residential neighborhood that provides food for the community and access to food and our kids we would give them five dollars and they would they would go on their own with their friends to the market and have the, the market actually sold sandwiches they'd have sandwiches and eat out and i think that idea of, of having freedom and, and mobility at that age and not having to be driven around everywhere is, mm -hmm. is really an important for me, an important way to live and for our children to grow up and 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 to be mobile and to have independence and, mm -hmm. and to gain that confidence. Yeah, those are really good points. And there's also a, a very strong sense of community when you're able to move that way and just be out and go to the local sandwich shop like you're talking about or whatever it might be. Um, I mean, it is <laughs> it's actually really bizarre because more and more now we have, there's been automobiles for quite some time. Now we have soon to be self-driving cars, iPads, VR sets. <laughs> you know? I know. Like there's not a lot of moving around. It's just kind of carrying me from place to place. Like we could live in a dark while, hole, you know. <laughs> while I play my iPad game and then when I arrive, then I'll look up kind of deal. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, 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 in some ways it can be very frightening. Um, I, you know, I, even here at the office, I, 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 we're a very democratic office. We, we actually, everybody has a, a desk. We, no one has a private office except for HR. Mm -hmm. Um, the intern and a senior principal has, has the same size desk. And, um, I love just listening as I'm working, listening to people around me and, and hearing how they work. And I think they, they do the same with me. And, um, you know, there's others that just put their iPods in and they kind of, vanish and that's okay sometimes when you're working on technical drawings yeah. <laughs> or you have to be super focused it's a, it's a good way to turn things off but i think that idea of um, even in our office we encourage this idea of a community and, and helping each other and listening and and um, learning from each other's mistakes 